I have three passions in life. One is to elevate you. Second is to make you rich. And third is to become a stand-up comedian. <laughs> so, since there's a lot of yarn already, I've given you for one and two. I'll talk about the third one, okay? <laughs> okay. Don't fret. This was just to make you a bit laugh before I get the CEO code, code on. Okay. <laughs> so I'll come back to one and two one. Okay, great. So see, by elevation, what does it mean really? So it definitely does not mean to make you high. Of course we do that once a year. <laughs> but uh, by elevation, what we really want to work upon or personally I'm very, very committed is to make sure that how we basically become better in life. I mean, that's the personal goal I look up to every day when I wake up. That how we can create an ecosystem where you know, anybody participating is basically becoming better in life. I do not look at your goals just for, say, mind bowser or just what you do every day, but how you can really become better, be more learning every day, becoming a better version of yourself. So that's the first thing that we are very, very committed here. And then, because I keep on driving it, I basically look forward to create that as the DNA of the company. That anybody being here should become better. The second thing about making you rich, again, not the YouTube rich, like, you know, uh, 30 days goes and you become rich. But uh, really, how about you create a system where, you know, like, you are really becoming richer, one, of course, in money. And second, of course, in the terms of, again, learning and how you become a richer citizen of the whole country, how you are better, basically, contributing anywhere, everywhere that you go. So those are two things that really drive us every day, to the things that we do. And I think inspiration from saying that, you know, that's how great companies become. Of course, it takes time. And I know that for most days, it may look like so mundane and that everybody is just working their job out. But uh, I think that understanding of the foundation or why we're making those decisions becoming becomes very important. And that's why I try to keep giving you that reason that what I'm really trying to do there. So, uh, one incident comes to my mind when I was thinking about this whole thought, like how great companies work. And I'm always on the lookout because, you know, there's so much learning that is not available, of course, on your laptop. And you look out, you have your own experiences, your stories, and then you see how it works. So, I went to Thailand recently and I went to this restaurant, oh, sorry, a hotel. And at 8 a.m. I went for the breakfast and in the menu it was written that uh, uh, this is glucomol freshly prepared and I was stuck because it was like 8 a.m. I thought that how is glucomol and everything being prepared because there was just so little activity happening so but yes glucomol avocado it's like okay I have to order this only so I ordered that and uh, I waited for the dish to come when the dish came I told the person that, uh, okay, I believe you've written here freshly prepared, but it's not fresh, right? At 8 o'clock, you can't do that. So this person looks at me and uh, looks into my eyes and says, this is Marriott. So that sort of confidence and that sort of resemblance that brings that, okay, now this is a brand that stands for him. He says, this is Marriott. Here, we only write what we do and we don't write what we do not do. So that sort of, you know, like purity into the actions and the thoughts and the actions eventually connecting with those thoughts really basically gives that answer that how companies become great. Like Vish was mentioning about people having different experiences doing the same job but in different ecosystems for example. Or even from our own, you know, probably our own readings or examples you'd have See, seen all the time that same people being in India, same people being in America, you know, the nature of how they look at things changes. So that's how I see it, that if you create an ecosystem good enough, big enough, where the understanding is very clear about being honest, being work harder in terms of achieving something, being really transparent, being trustworthy, then it helps everybody to grow. So that's how I see the elevation of life, that anybody working at Mindbowser should actually become better in the whole thought process that they have. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I always look forward to, like I mentioned, is to make you rich. So I shared with you last time as well, that we constantly keep on working about how 
uh, you know, once my browser grows, you are all part of it, and then you get the perks out of it. So we are continuously working towards creating that ease of tools and creating, you know, other opportunities, which again, you know, help every participant grow. So that's the second thing. And I want to share another example that, uh, um, let me ask this. So you know burgers, right? Uh, hamburgers, uh, as they call in US. So hamburgers are often a very simple dish, basically, if you see. So it's like, you know, a bun, which is divided into two. Then your patty, you just put there. You put a tomato, you put an onion, you put some sauce, mayonnaise, and so on. So there's nothing special really about it to, to think from the naked eye. So it's like, okay, anybody can create it. And anybody can create it, actually. But this should also mean that McDonald's, again, one of the most iconic companies, should really get out of business because anybody can just create it. You can find burger everywhere. But it's just the opposite, that McDonald's is the most thriving business, like 50,000 outlets throughout the world, probably 4 lakh or 5 lakh employees, billions of dollars in turnover. Why? The burger is very simple. So where is the answer? Like, why are, why is that, you know, like burger which is creatable by anyone, still McDonald's style. So the answer is in the burger itself. Basically, burger anybody can create. But the McDonald's burger, it's like, you know, the learnings or the processes or the efficiencies or the relatedness to the brand or the consistent experience of the brand that anybody going in Tokyo or New Delhi or Singapore, they get the same experience. So all these things basically, you know, when you buy a McDonald's burger, a part of it comes to you. So so that's how, you know, the company grows. So what I mean to say from this is that, again, services companies always have a lack of differentiator because, you know, services are eventually services that, okay, you get work, you do the development, where's the differentiator? But what consistently happens with great companies is that there's still a differentiator that is to be created, like with honest work, with providing delivery on time, with good quality, with working from office, <laughs> and other things. <laughs> so the idea is that, you know, we can still create a brand, we can become part of it, and the idea that I foresee for the future is just like, you know, you have a certain, like Manisha was mentioning, that you have a certain recognition of a brand when you think of XX, you think, okay, this is XX because good quality, for example. So same way, you know, it happens with even service companies. What I want to create a future is that if you say anywhere that, okay, I'm a person from Mindbowser, they should be able to relate, okay, Mindbowser, okay, high quality. Or Mindbowser, good trust. So if you come across anyone individually also, you know, you become part of that system. Like Manisha said, you can't escape it, basically. So if you know, if we do wrong things, it comes back to us, it's like, mind browser, okay, do not do good job. Or mind browser, okay, you are the most trusted guy, <laughs> come on board. So that's the whole idea, that how we can create that whole brand together and then it helps everybody of us and so on. So that's the future that we, you know, that we aspire to be and I'm very committed to it. I share this all the time because in fact, I want to be, you know, reportable to it. So if you feel that somewhere I am lagging at it, you can actually ask me anytime. So it's not just for today, but I really want to share this so that it's for every day. So every day, if you think that, okay, I should make a decision, but it does not go with these two things that you told really. So you can tell me because I really want to be committed to it. And, you know, as friends, as peers, you can always remind me as well. So that's what I want you to do immediately in the next five seconds, get a beer. <laughs>